Hi, I'm Deirdre Lane with Earth Clinic. Today I'm going to tell you about the non-traditional use of BHT for viruses. Before I start, be aware that BHT is approved by the FDA as a food additive. It is commonly used in foods like breakfast cereals as a preservative and antioxidant. In fact, one study reports that BHT does not appear to be a cancer risk, but actually a cancer preventative at current levels used for food preserving. That said, it is not approved for use as a supplement. Even so, that has not stopped creative individuals with a serious illness to search outside of approved parameters for treatment, and that is what I'm going to share today. BHT stands for butylated hydroxytoline. BHT is a fat-soluble synthetic compound. Chemically, it is a derivative of phenol. BHT is widely used by the food industry as a preservative, mainly to prevent oils and foods from oxidizing and becoming rancid. But BHT is also used in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals, and much more. According to a study published over 40 years ago in Science Magazine, BHT inactivates lipid-containing viruses. More simply put, some viruses have a membrane around them. This structure is a form of protection for the virus. Breaking down the membrane is an effective way of disabling viruses in the body. A few of the viruses that have a lipid envelope and may be affected by BHT include herpes simplex, 1 and 2, cytomegalovirus, West Nile, HIV, influenza, hepatitis B and C, avian flu, Epstein-Barr virus, SARS virus, and the shingles virus. Most people take a dosage of 250 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams of BHD per day. That dosage varies depending on what the person is treating. I can tell you what our readers have shared with us about the use of BHT for viruses. But do your own study about BHT and see what you think. Our reader Oscar, who treated his own case of hepatitis B with BHT for over 20 years, recommends for people who weigh 125 pounds or less to use only 250 milligrams of BHT per day or less. For people who weigh up to 200 pounds, 500 milligrams per day is the recommended dosage. For people who weigh more than 200 pounds, more BHT may be required. Age and weight are definitely factors in determining the BHT dosage. Taking a larger dose of BHT is not recommended. At lower doses, BHT may be helpful, but it may take longer to work. Doses of BHT should start small and gradually increase. Oscar and others have been using the BHT protocol to kill viruses for decades. Part of the protocol includes limiting additional supplements. Supplements that have been shown to work well with the BHT treatment are a simple daily multivitamin, B-complex, vitamin C up to 1,000 milligrams per day, Supplements that are considered to be unnecessary or counterproductive during the BHD protocol include milk thistle, grapefruit juice, colloidal silver, and vitamin E. Now for the important list of BHD precautions. First and foremost, alcohol should be avoided for at least several hours before and after taking BHT. But be aware alcohol may have a stronger effect than usual when you're taking BHT. BHT can interfere with blood clotting, so it may pose a risk to people with clotting problems. People with diseases that compromise liver function should have their liver enzymes monitored by a physician while taking BHT. BHT can interact with some drugs. And finally, some people are chemically sensitive to BHT. If you decide to use BHT as a supplement, do not use BHT capsules that contain fillers. Buy only food grade BHT. If you buy BHT in capsule form, make sure to read the ingredients first before you buy it. You want to make sure there are only two ingredients, the BHT and the gelatin or the cellulose, which is the capsule ingredient. There are several companies on Amazon selling BHT capsules with additional ingredients. It may be worth the effort to purchase BHT in powder form and make your own capsules. Also be aware that it appears to be harder to find BHT on the market. It would not be the first time that an inexpensive and effective product has mysteriously fallen off the map, so to speak. All the studies I've mentioned are linked below in the description area as well as the important links on Earth Clinic that you might want to check out. If you've used BHD, please leave your comments below. We really want to hear about your experiences. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Earth Clinic channel so you don't miss our videos featuring the most important remedies and supplements of our time.
get it right. 